Hello, Leoans. Shinge, Miss Chu, Yifang. What are we going to do now, boss? The filming's not done and the camera's lost. All right, stop sighing. Didn't we go post a commission at the Adventurers Guild? There's only one thing we got left to do today, and that's to wait. Yeah, but a half-finished film is still on the camera. Even though the machine's pretty hardy, if the film gets damaged, then what's wrong? Well, well, didn't I say help was coming? As I said, all we had to do was wait. When did the Adventurers Guild get this efficient? Hmm, it seems like some Fontanians aren't that slow going after all. I'm not Fontanian. Hello there, adventurer. You must be here for the commission to help us get our film camera back, right? We were attacked by monsters over there. Can you please hurry? Um, I didn't accept any commission. I was just passing through, man. Oh, right. but I can help. Then. That's fine. It's all fine. I knew the Adventurer's Guild wasn't reliable. Adventurer, would you like to accept an emergency commission? The play's real good. Yeah, that sounds fun. Great, fantastic. I need you to go over and help us get our film camera back. We'd be in your debt. Okay. An expert company question mark. <laughs> Defeat on ones and retrieve the film camera. Oh my gosh, okay. Ah, it's a bunch of hellish girls. Let's go in a heater. Actually, I take that back. Let's go clutching. Ugh. Don't blink! With sword comes Oops. shadow. Have a kill. Great, the film camera is intact and the film hasn't been destroyed. Thank the Archons. I thought we were going to have to start shooting all over again. What are you filming here? It's a long story. Let's keep it brief. We three are from Chaoying village in Liyue. Most people there are in the tea business, but we don't have any interest in tea. So we changed professions and started filming documentary films. That looks very <laughs> in a zoom in documentary <laughs> films to help promote tea vendors in the village. In truth, there are too many people in the tea business and we just couldn't compete. The skilled helpers we had at the store left one by one to work elsewhere, so if we just stuck to making tea, we'd be starving. Can't you two not make things sound so depressing? We've made plenty of more shooting these tea documentaries in the village. But recently, some of the village, some others in the village have also started to shoot their own promotional films. Some of them are even performing an opera in them. They're making a real big show of it. So that's why we're in Fontaine. We're trying to seek advice from master filmmakers. So you're here to learn about filmmaking in Fontaine? Yeah, we found this lighting expert called Gessert. He's real good at using light to film. What was it again? Narratives. Yeah, applying lighting to his narratives. And Mr. Gessert's, I don't know if you pronounce the name T or not, Gesser. I don't know, I don't do French. We can definitely shoot the best film in all the, of Chaoying Village. Boss, last month you said we were going to shoot the best films in Liyue. You have to adjust your expectations realistically when doing business. What do you know? Anyway, thanks for your help, Traveller. Here, take us more. Xing, sorry, I keep wanting to say Ching, but... It's not. It's Xingye. Xingye. Yifang, pack that up quick. We've got to finish shooting our sample and show it to Mr. Geyser. Watch the lighting. The camera's got to be angled toward the light source in this way. There's no light source. It's night time. We've got to capture that high definition lighting. You all read that book, right? The lighting's got to have a sense of texture. You get what I'm saying? Boss, you might have read Mr. Geyser's book. But with what we got... We're not going to be able to capture that high definition lighting tactility you want no matter how much we struggle. Maybe you're just not made for this particular job. Oh wait, that says an expert company won. Hold up, is there a second part? Uh, I don't see them unless they're behind the bushes. Hmm. No, I just have to go somewhere else. Uh, this time head west of the fountain near the shore. Okay, it may require teleporting out and then back again, but for now. I'll just go on foot and see if they're here. I'm not quite sure where I'm going specifically. I'm just going west towards the shore. Uh, which, no. Yeah, this way. It must be this way somewhere. I don't know where they'll be, so I don't know if I'm expecting any pop-in or what. 
Oh, sorry, people. I was looking at the horizon. I apologize for just running into you. Oh, there we go. It's on my map. It's on my map. Sorry, birdies. One of these days I'm going to need this, so I might as well gather it now. I'm totally never going to need to use it. Whatever. Hello, friends. Oh, there you are. No wonder I couldn't see you. No problem. Our box is waterproof. All we need to do is dive down and fetch it. Boss, none of us here knows how to dive. I know how to swim, but diving's beyond me. Is is a commission we posted at the Adventurers Guild still on the board? Boss, didn't you say before that we should hurry up and take the commission down? We did that yesterday. The guild said that they can return us our prepaid commission posting fee today. Ugh, if we want to send out a commission again, are we going to need to pay an additional service fee? Have you guys finished your film? Adventurer, Lunara, you came right when we needed you. Can you dive? Or can you help me find a diver with the ability and time to do a dive? You want to do an underwater shoot? We're hardly that capable. We also can't afford waterproof film equipment. It's purely because the box we put our films in fell onto the water. What were you doing that it fell 20 yards that way? All right, that's enough, you two. Lunara, you gotta help us. Don't worry about the payment. I'll pay you up front, just like last time. Except she didn't pay me up front. She's lying to me. Yeah. It's not even that... It's... <laughs> you don't even have to dive. You just have to swim a little. Although, I suppose it probably would burst your eardrums. I take that back. It was a little deeper than I thought. A little deeper than I thought. Ugh, now I've got to climb... That's the size I can get. Which is to say it had no effect whatsoever. I have it. It's a bit heavy. Aha, you're the best, Lunara. You're the absolute best. If it weren't for you, everything inside that case would have been lost. We need to get back to the city and give these films to Mr. Gaysart. And then let's have a meal together. Lunara, if you're interested, you can come too. After we finish eating, I'll pay you your reward. Well, I just happen to be hungry. All right, it's settled. Yifeng, bring the films in this box over to Mr. Gaysart later. Sunya, go get some good greens from nearby. I've been practicing my poisson seafood soup, and it's time to show it off to Mr. Gaysart. Boss, we're already going to the restaurant. Why do you still get to do things yourself? So that we can save costs. <clears throat> it's settled. Let's get going. Lenara, you can follow me. I'm really just going to have dinner with these random people? <laughs> okay. Sure. This looks like a fine dining establishment too. Hotel the board. Oh, we were here with uh, Navia. This pot is pretty strange, hmm, but it should be used the same way as the ones in Liyue. Boss, I got the veggies, but they're all out of Marcotte. Oh, I've got plenty of that on me. I couldn't find any other store that sells it. That's the last ingredient we needed. Well, uh, Lunara, I'll go fetch it. Thanks for your help. Don't worry, I know how adventurers work. This isn't a free favor. I've already got some on me. You can have it. I knew I'd need this damn flower for something. Oh, I didn't realize I'd been quite that diligent. <laughs> Here you go. Okay, gotta get this meal started as soon as possible. Gotta do this fast. Mr. Cassette is almost here. Next thing you know, he doesn't even rock up. Lunara, I'd like to introduce you to a master filmmaker, Mr. Cassette. Mr. Cassette, this is Lunara, a highly skilled adventurer. If you plan to shoot an action film in the future, you should definitely consider casting Lunara as the lead. Oh yes, please do, sir. Haha, <laughs> Ms. Chu exaggerates. I'm not some filmmaking expert. I do someone who's somewhat familiar with the uses of lightning from filmmaking. Ah, you're too modest. The lighting in your films practically speaks for itself. Is lighting very important in filmmaking? Oh my god, that seems like a very naive question. Of course, in my theories, lighting is the key way mood is expressed in the scene. You are not wrong. But, uh, how should I put this? My theories have yet to be regarded in Fontaine's film industry. Why? That seems like a pretty logical theory. Uh, I would also then argue that uh, composition is really important. The cinematography. 
Most directors prefer to use direct movement or the scene itself to illustrate their stories, but why wouldn't you use everything at your disposal? It, it, it makes for more subtlety. <laughs> I've shot a few films purely using lighting transitions to express the narrative, but almost no one was interested. But now, at least one director thinks my light lighting theory has value. Director? Me? <laughs> Don't jest. I was just a tea vendor. Who said a tea vendor can't be a director? I was just a journalist before. A journalist? Then you must be good at writing reports, just like those in the papers. I suppose. What about it? Huh? Just as well. Uh, nothing, nothing. Let's eat. We will have plenty of time to work together in the future. <laughs> Everyone takes a seat to Ms. Chu's forthright laughter. After the meal, Ms. Chu makes an additional meal and stuffs it in your bag. Oh, that's nice of her. Oh, that's it! Poisson seafood soup. Is there a part three? Is there a part three? Ah, uh, that actually seems to be it for that quest line. I don't think there is a part three. <laughs> um, it actually looks like there's only one world quest remaining. Uh, what is that marking exactly? I don't think I have any more quests up here. Not according to this guide anyway. Nope. Eh. I've done whatever quest that was marking. Yep. Alright, so we need to go to... Oh, blast, where is this? Uh, it's just back to the Melusine village, isn't it? Yeah, back to the Melusine village. This one required things to be done. Yeah, here we go. It required you to do several of the other quests before it became available. But what should we give Serene? So long as it expresses our intentions, we can give her anything, can we not? Yeah, Caribou said the same thing. Hmm, intentions. Let me think. Mr. Chasiles sent me a new clock, but would a clock really make the best birthday gift? After all, Serene's taking care of us all. This would be a great opportunity for me to give her a gift that'll make her happy. Everyone wants that, though if you think about it, gifting her something else might end up with her turning it away, right? She'll say, I can't accept something so valuable, or something like that. Yeah. If that's the case, then why don't we make her a nice meal? The act of eating together will express our intentions perfectly. Oh yeah, you're the best can of Tila. In that case, let's make that dish together. Huh? You want to make that dish? Well, preparing it will be a bit... Do you need help? Huh? Well, that... Uh, it's... It's Miss Lidar and Paimon. Ahaha, ah, today's weather isn't bad either, Miss Lunar. Did you find any new pages? Uh, no, actually, I didn't. Huh? As if you're talking about the Book of Revealing... Wait, hold on, no, don't change the subject. You were just talking about preparing something for Serene. Oh, actually, no, I got more pages after we talked about it, Kanatila, but not since I last used it. I just remembered that there are notes that need to be collated. I need to get back right now. I have also remembered I need to meet with Mrs. Chasile tomorrow. I have to go now. See, where did... Where, where are y'all going? What? <laughs> where did they run off to? That's what they call... What's what we call a birthday surprise. So they're planning to host a big birthday dinner for Serene. Come to think of it, we haven't actually gotten to try the Melusine's dishes. If it's a birthday... We did actually know it was tasteless. If it's a birthday celebration, the food should be extra fancy, right? Ooh, Palmen's starting to look forward to this birthday thing. Lenora, why don't we find and help them? That's a birthday gift for someone else. Don't try to sneak a bite, Paimon. Paimon knows that, but if we prepare a dish with the Melusines, you'll figure out how to make it, won't you? You know, in case Paimon wants some later. No, wait. Paimon means we. We can eat it together in the future. You're really something else, Paimon. Hee hee. Anyway, let's go check up on them and see if they need our help to prepare anything. Where'd they go? Ah, shit. No quest directives. Oh, Veronata's right here. Ah, there you are, Veronata. Um, hey there, Luna and Paimon. What do you need from me? Well, this has to do with what you were all chatting about earlier. About preparing food for Serene. No, wait. Please stop talking. We want to make a surprise for Serene and we don't want anyone else to know. Not even Carabos. Don't worry, we won't tell a soul. We just want to help you prepare. This will make things easier for you too, right? 
Hmm, you two are pretty reliable. If that's the case, I have a favor to ask. The dish we're trying to make usually uses fish. But Lutine told me that the outside world has something called bacon and that it tastes delicious. Monsieur Nevolette has also enjoyed it before. So I think that if we can get some bacon, we might be able to cook something incredible. Just like Carabas always says, knowledge is power. I'm not sure this has anything to do with knowledge. Fontaine is bacon. What? It's the knowledge of what to do with cooking ingredients, kinda sorta. Anyway, don't worry about it. We've got this bacon thing down pat. Where are we getting bacon from? This bacon that Lutine mentioned. I wonder what it is. Where do you even get this from? How does one get bacon? Excuse me. Bacon. Bacon. I need two things of salt. Of course I bloody do. Of course I bloody do. I don't know the general store vendor in this bloody city. God damn it. I'll go get salt from my regular. Sir, may I buy a metric shit ton of salt? I need a lot of it. I'll take the full hundred. Thanks. Appreciate you. Oh god. I dragged and clicked. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Nope, that one. Oh, I could just make the salt of the bacon there. Oh well, we're here now. We just get to wait half an hour for the bloody thing to cook. Isn't everyone gonna smell it though? They're gonna smell the bacon as it cooks. How many do you need? You needed three, right? It's gonna take a while. Holy shit, 15 minutes? Is that for one piece or for all three? Holy shit. Seriously? Oh my god. Oh, thank god. We're gonna have to give her one. Holy shit. I was not waiting here 45 minutes doing nothing. Oh my god. There you go. Have your bloody bacon. Whoa, so this is bacon? Thanks a lot, Benari and Paimon. Still, it's a bit different from what I'd imagined. Don't you worry. Bacon tastes good no matter how you prepare it. No, I wouldn't say that. Really? I don't quite get that, but I'll do my best. Okay, it's one down. Puka, about what you said earlier. Ah, that. That was supposed to be a secret. You can't tell anyone else. Not even Slussy. Don't worry about a thing. We definitely won't tell anyone else. We just want to help you repair. Two extra helpers will help get things ready faster, right? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. I'm sure you two would be a big help. Hee hee, right? So what do you need us to do? Hmm, the other ingredients are pretty easy to prepare, but we still need that white and sweet thing. You mean sugar? No, not that. Sugar is dangerous. Eating that just once will make you always want to eat it. Correct. Uh, welcome to the world of addiction. In the end, you'll get all round and stuff. Just like Paimon. Hey, Paimon isn't round. Your butt is. Anyway, absolutely no sugar. I almost fell into its sweet trap in the past. We can't let the same thing happen to Serene. But what else is white and sweet besides sugar? Flour, perhaps? Flour isn't sweet, though. Exactly. No, wait. You can taste a little sweetness if you sample it for long. No, it's really not. I am referring to flour. First, we need to make it round. Then we bake it till it's tasty and crispy. But I've used up all my flour. And Zana doesn't have any either. We'll need to go out and get more. No problem. Leave it to us. Lunar, let's check if we're carrying any flour. I don't think I'm carrying any flour. I am! And that is not white and sweet. Flour is not sweet by any stretch of the imagination. Thanks, Ms. Lenora. Thanks, Paimon. This way we can make some delicious flatbread. Paimon can't wait. Alright, uh... That is Kenotila. Ms. Lenora, how about those new pages? Hey, come on. Enough about the pages. Are you trying to make that dish and prepare the relevant ingredients for it? Well, since you have overheard, I suppose there really is nothing for it. You two must be included in this as well. A question, if I may. Miss Lenara, what ingredient symbolizes birth to you? I don't know about ingredient, but a birthday cake sure would do that. But an ingredient. 
Something that bestows life and represents newborn. I believe you know what I'm looking for. Yes, you mean like a bird egg? I don't want to think about that when I'm eating eggs. I mean, I generally can't eat eggs, but I don't want to think about that. Gross. Hee hee. Yeah, that's right. Sharp as always, I see. But I suppose you can see the rub too, can't you? We malacines have short arms and can't climb trees well. So it'll be very troublesome for one of us to get any bird eggs. Okay, well. I've got some. Got more than I thought, actually. Thanks, Miss Lenara. I'm sure that Serene will be happy too. Thanks. I'll go prepare the ingredients now. Alright, you got this. Yeah, this way. All the ingredients for the dish should be ready. Hee hee. You really are awesome, Miss Lunara. Alright, we'll leave the cooking to you, Veronada. Alright, you can count on me. I've learned the greatest, bestest, most powerfulest cooking methods from Carabas and Lutine. You got this, as long as it doesn't turn out like impressions. Don't make Pamon remember that smell. I got it this time. Don't worry about it. Carabas once said that the most important thing in cooking is vigor and the will to never give up. I'm going to tell you right now that neither of those matter in cooking. <laughs> you must follow the recipe. <laughs> Please tell me you're following a recipe. You must never surrender to the ingredients no matter what. The style of cooking is already entirely different from what Pamon's familiar with. No worries, no worries. Nothing will go wrong. Probably. Under your supervision, is it though? Veronata gathers two pieces of flatbread, seven fishes, seven, Jesus, the cooked bird egg and sliced bacon before throwing them all into the pot at once and stirring away with focus and gusto. Wait, you're putting the flatbread into liquid? Ugh. This really doesn't seem like the way flatbread is cooked, but it, it's too late to stop the process at this point. Have you guys made this before? Oh, I don't want to know what it looks like. Oh, it looks pretty good. I think Serene will definitely be pleased. Of course. Why, I'm already super happy. Anyway, we should also thank Miss Lunara for helping us make such a wonderful meal. Ugh, I was gonna ask, just in case. But, what is this? Huh? Haven't you seen Poisson Chant's pie before, Pokemon? Uh, that sounds and looks like you'd use it to cast some kind of forbidden magic or something. Huh? Why? Oh my... Ugh. Oh, that's vomit worthy. That's vile. Oh God, you're the one who called it poison chant. Also, look at all those fish heads. That is vile. Hee hee, they're so cute, right? They look just like a choir and a picture book. Yeah, because that's what I want my food to be. I want it to look all perky and bright eyed and bushy tailed when I want to eat it. That will make me hurl. With everyone holding their heads up high and singing happily. Which part of the dish even remotely looks like what you're talking about? Hmm, since none of you have ever seen a poisson chant pie before, then perhaps we should give you two a serving first. I am not eating that. You both were a big help after- wait, shouldn't you wait until Serene sees it? You shouldn't start cutting slabs out of it. You're both a big help after all. I mean, you look after us just like Miss Serene does. Hmm, I'd say that Serene's a bit noisier and nosier at times. I actively try to help when we don't need it. That's just the way she is. But either way, Miss Eleanor and Paimon are better at caring for people. Anyway, we would like the two of you to accept our goodwill. He <laughs> he. Thanks. He he. You look so happy right now, Miss Lenora. No, I'm trying not to hurl. All right, let's go give the poisson chant pie to Serene. Am I coming along as well? Yep. I mean, you help prepare the ingredients after all. And besides, the more people who eat together, the merrier, right? Will this really be okay? I don't know, Paimon. I don't know. I have my forgivings. Sorry, no, that's not the word I'm looking for. I can't think of the word I'm looking for. Well, I suppose this should be fine now. Ah, hello, Leno, Paimon. Is there something you need? Mm, what are you doing, Serene? Oh, are you talking about this thing? Well, Zana accidentally broke the water bottle she usually carries with her, so I came by to try and fix it. So, Leno and Paimon, do you need me to help with something? Uh, do you remember what day it is? Huh? Come to think of it, today's the day that I'll need to submit a report to Monsieur Nouvellet. <laughs> That's not what we're talking about. Seriously, you should consider yourself more. It's your birthday, you know. Come, everyone. All together now. Happy birthday! Eh? Lunara helped us prepare a totally unique poisson chant pie for your birthday. This is all for this is for all the time you spent taking care of us and for all your help when I was trying to communicate with Mr. Chasil. 
Well, you're really nosy some noisy sometimes, but as long as you don't suddenly pop in and interrupt my thoughts, you're welcome to be even louder if you want. I, everyone, come on, that's no way to look at your own birthday. Anyway, if we don't eat the poisson chant pie we spent so long preparing soon, it'll get cold. Come on, let's eat. You too, Ms. Lenar and Pie Mon. Do I really have to eat this? <laughs> um, well, here goes nothing. Pie Mon should have a nibble at least. You enjoy the strange poisson chant pie with the melusines. Though it looks rather strange, the taste isn't as bad as you expected. On the contrary, it's quite delicious, so long as you can stomach the stares of the fish heads, their eyes still gleaming with a strange light. Yeah, nah, man, that ain't for me. It tastes pretty good. Another! Humanity might not yet be ready for this wonder. Yeah, though it tastes good, it looks dubious. Come on, make a wish, and make sure it's a wish for yourself. Well, if that's the case, my wish has already come true. That's not how wishes work at birthday, Serene. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Lenara and Paimon. That's it? Oh, we got a recipe out of that. I don't want to make it. I don't want to make it. I really don't. Where do I find my recipes again? There? There? No, it would have been there, but I think I have to interact with a um, pot. Restores HP. I don't know if I really want to look at the picture and be as disturbed as I just was. Uh, I'm just looking at the pictures, but perhaps I should be looking at the text. Because I don't see it. Uh, recovery dish. That's practically all of them. I've already forgotten what it's called, by the way. <laughs> Didn't take long. Oh, it's there. Yuck. Gross. Disgusting. Get it away from me. Okay, and no, there's nothing else to uh, talk about then. Okay, well, that's it. That is all that is all that those are all. Those are all the world quests that uh, this guide has. And I assume that the guide has all of them. I mean, I can't be sure of that. I didn't write the damn thing. and I, But I can't see any more of my markers in in the world so it's definitely gotten all the ones I had ready to go and yeah not too bad the final step we have to do is where's the board in Fontaine because surely is that it no I have some rewards I need to gather what does it look like that really isn't it <sighs> Because surely I'm, I've been, like, gathering some rewards from doing all these quests. My map is not there, though. Can you... Jesus. So I don't... What does the board look like? Go back to it. Lay away. That is what it looks like. That is 100% what it looks like. Maybe I go to the steamboat? I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know where the steamboat is. Is this a steamboat? That looks steamboaty. Hello? You fracy. Choice spectacular weather today, no? Um, yeah, truly. If only the weather was this cooperative every workday, I should be quite merry indeed. Wait, why is the chief editor just on the doorstep? And speaking of work, my dear, you are here to interview for the troubleshooter position advertising on Tales of Humanity. Um, what? Yes, yes, I know. The name troubleshooter is simply too gauche and unbecoming of the standards of a publication such as ours. Yes, Ethan has substantial room for growth when it comes to coining new words. Putting that aside for the moment, 
Would you like to know how I was able to correctly ascertain that you were here for the job and not seeking to ask help in our Tales of Humanity section? Observation. Every citizen who comes to the steamboat seeking help appears anxious and jittery, but you, your steps are relaxed, your expression calm. Those who are fortunate are all the same. Those who fall victim to misfortune all have their own woes. But you didn't need to worry. Those who seek assistance from others via Tales of Humanity haven't run into any serious trouble, so it shouldn't be hard to handle. Have a look at this batch of commissions. That was a very, very long-winded way to say, hey, come. Chat. 20 of 20! Oh my god, this is the first time I've maxed out a single place other than Monster, and that took, what, almost three years to do? <laughs> Two and a half years? Wow. I've got to work on all the other locations. Yeah, I know, go away. There we go, 20 of 20. Boop boo! 21%, yuck. So we get a recipe for steak tartare. I don't like steak, but I do like tartare. Fontaine mining outcrop. Okay, sure. Crystal fly trap. What does it do? It lures crystal flies inside. Is there somewhere you're supposed to put it specifically? What a weird gadget. Discount. Fontaine Merchant discounts. Okay. Some interesting things going on here. Uh, probably going to have to do it the old fashioned way, which I can't be bothered to do. But, uh, yay! I'm so happy for myself. Yeah, honey, I've stopped reading a long time ago. Do I have to go through this every single time I want to chat to the woman? Grief, I hope not. Um, yeah. Oh, that was the quest I had sitting here. Oh, whoops. I didn't even realize. Didn't even realize. That's why it was so long winded. Oh, this is where the recipes appear under precious items. Right. I have so much crap in here, it's not funny. Like, what are these? Key sigils. For with Tatsumi Island, right. Never finished that one, did I? I actually don't think I ever finished with Tatsumi Island. Can we get rid of these? Why do they have to clog up my inventory? Very unnecessary. What do I spend these sigils on? Are they only used as currency in the store? Hmm. Oh, I have 10 of those. We should probably hand those in. I don't think 10 is sufficient. I'm pretty sure we need significantly more than that. But you may have my 10. That I worked so very hard to get for you. Yeah. Pfft. Miles off. Need another 11. And I don't think this is going to be any good for the fountain. I only have a handful of sigils, so... Probably not going to get very far, but since I'm in a giving mood, I may as well give them right now. And then I'm going to get off and shut up so my throat can rest. But I did it! I'm ahead of the game for once in my life. Oh, we went up two levels. I thought we'd only go up one. Nice! <gasps> and we get wishes! Yay! And a key! Except I have no idea what these depths are. Yay! I will use those immediately, thank you. Speaking of which, we should go to the shop. Oh, after we do this. Uh, it's fish. I added fish. Tastes a wonderful birthday cake with melusine vomit. Four more there. I don't think I got enough. Uh, we're still 21 short of pity and that's assuming I don't fail my pity 
because I got Kokomi last time, correct? That's when I stopped wishing, the moment I got Kokomi. Yeah, so I am not on my 50-50 fail, and I'm no, I'm, I've got no built pity. This is gonna go terribly. And that's even just to get novelettes. If I want to get Rosely, shit, I'm actually going to put money into this game. I'm broke. I'm poor. I don't have any money. It's video game season, guys. It's like a brand new video game every two fudging weeks. I can't afford shit right now. I'm going to be going for savings. I've got to start tanking. I can't afford this. Why is Katra so hard? Which is funny because, you know, I go so long without even wanting a character. And now that I want one, <laughs> I don't have the resources for it.